Okay, so I never really want a guy to be backside on me, but let's say I do get beat and he gets to an angle. We do need to be able to counter from here and actually score from here. So Matthew gets in. Ideally, I'd like to keep him here in front and get my legs back, but he's really good. So what he's done now is he's gotten himself to backside, okay, and he's starting to beat me. So before he completely beats me, I already feel like I'm a little beat, his shoulders behind, uh, maybe his elbows on the mat, or I'm losing position. I wanna get to this ankle. So basically for basic shin wizard, so I'm gonna reach down. Little trick here, um, if I just reach down and grab a shin, that's okay. But if you remember from the single offense videos, if you've seen those, it's a battle for this knee. So I already wanna start getting my knee out of here. So he's got my knee beat. What I'm gonna do is push his hands down, whatever hand is there, if it's both of them, and I'm gonna lift my knee up. As I push his hands down, now I slide my knee away, okay? This is basic shin wizard position. I wanna say a few things about this because I see so many people doing this position wrong. I want my knee pointing away from Matthew, okay? I, I have to keep this knee away to win the position. For him to win, he's gotta to get to this knee. So I wanna keep this knee away from Matthew. By doing this too, I create a ton of pressure on his shoulder, okay? I'm not like this. This is not good shin wizard. Right now, he's pushing into me. My weight's on my far foot. Now watch the difference. If I wanna have position, I need to be pushing into him. So this outside knee is pushing in. He's got a lot of weight on the shoulder. This is good shin wizard position. And this is a battle. He's gonna to try to get my knee. He's gonna fight up with this hand. I might have to push this hand down, get my knee away. Ideally, ideally I want him to chase a little bit. He's coming in. Now watch this. I'm gonna pivot my knee to the inside. So really quickly, I'm pulling away. As he moves in, I pivot my knee in, just like this. So I'm gonna pivot my knee in. Now I'm back to, to, to that first position we worked on. This is the ideal place to be. I do not want him to have that angle, okay? Now we can go just with our basic score ankle, or we can attack here. We got our roll, we got our cradle. But if I can, here, I wanna get back to that. I get back to that by forcing him to chase a little bit. He's pushing in, slide my knee in. Now I'm wrestling to get that leg back. Um, there are some scores here too. Uh, what I can do is I could be on Shin Wizard, especially if he starts moving his hips around. I can search it up other way. Yeah, a lot of guys will do what he's doing right here. They'll move the wrong way. Yeah, exactly, trying to get this leg in. So I might take advantage of that. I might spin on this guy. So I'm just gonna look for his far hip with this hand. I'm gonna take my hand off the Shin Wizard here. And I'm just gonna spin. Here, oh, key, you have to be vertical. Okay, you can't be horizontal at all. I have to be vertical so I can spin quickly. So I grab this hip, I let go with this hand, and just spin. Now you got your two. You might need to score, maybe the guy's hanging out on your leg, you can't pivot back in. Find that far hip, find the far hip. Make sure you're vertical. Let go of the shin wizard, limp leg, spin. Get your two. Um, so, couple finishes there when the guy gets to a shin wizard. Ideally though, I wanna get back to home base. I want my hips on his head. I wanna beat him up counter offense on a single, or I could spin on it too and just get a quick two. So um, let me show you that again. Uh, when you're countering this stuff, the full speed is kind of slow, but without all the talking. So Matthew gets it. Um, I'll also show the spin really quick uh, in terms of a little more real speed. He's in, he beats me a little bit. I might put this hand, shin, 